So the plan is the trail of wheat will lead the cows to the island, even though I'm on an island. Oh, what? what? Hey, put the wheat down. What's going on? The heck? Oh. Oh, look at that. I had wheat and I put it on the ground and it was automatically picked up by an item collector. What's up guys, I'm Vortec and it's a mod spotlight. I tricked you, you thought you jumped in the middle of a let's play, but in fact, we're doing a mod spotlight on item collectors. This is a mod for Minecraft Forge 116.2 and you can check it out in the description below. Basically what it does is it picks up items that are dropped nearby and it does have a radius as you saw with throwing down the wheat. Now, there are two different types of item collectors I'm gonna show you today, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to set them up and how they work. First and foremost, obviously you need to put them on some kind of inventory, like I have them on a chest right now, and uh, it'll just pick up whatever the basic item collector wants to pick up. If we push R, we get the recipe from JEI, and we got obsidian and ender pearls. Pretty simple to make, but the advanced item collector is kind of where it's at. It takes an ender eye, the basic item collector, and some obsidian, and it does a little bit more. So what you can do with this is you can right click, and you can kind of see the range. We get seven by seven by seven with the basic item collector, and you can actually adjust the range with these uh, coordinates here. So on different sides, or different uh, dimensions rather, will have different radiuses in which they pick things up. So we can change the Y level and uh, things that are above the item collector will get sucked into it. So, or you can just tell it, nah, really don't take anything from that, that dimension. So it's pretty cool. Now the advanced item collector is what I'm really excited about. This is where automation kind of gets crazy. So let's put down an advanced item collector and open it up. And now we have a filter, and that's why I have some extra stuff in me right now. So say, so it actually starts with 11 by 11 by 11 in terms of its its range, which is awesome. And uh, we have a, uh, a whitelist blacklist option here. So let's say you have a farm for wheat, uh, but you also have an iron farm nearby and you, you don't want the two to kind of get mixed up. You've put things way too close together, it's a mess. So what you need to do is either whitelist or blacklist what you want this to pick up. So we'll hit whitelist and let's say we just want this filter to take wheat, that's it. So if I drop any wheat at all, it gets picked up. But if I drop any iron or gold, it's just gonna sit there. So that is kind of the difference right there. Now with these being so cheap, the recipes I mean, uh, you know, I would I would almost recommend if you're gonna put this in a mod pack to kind of make them more expensive because <laughs> it's pretty easy to get Ender Pearls and Obsidian even early on in, in modded Minecraft, and uh, it, it, these just feel super super inexpensive uh, for how powerful they are for automation for early game automation. So there you go, item collectors for 116. They're here, and you can get them down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.